They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. They crucified two robbers with him, one on his right, one on his left. And after six hours on the cross, Jesus breathed his last with a loud cry. With Pilate's permission, Joseph of Arimathea, a secret disciple of Jesus, took the body of Jesus to be buried in a tomb. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came early to the tomb. There was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. The angel said, Fear not, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. Go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. But Thomas was not with the disciples when Jesus first came. The disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were, I will not believe. A week later, Jesus appeared to Thomas with the other disciples and said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands? Stop doubting and believe. Later on, Jesus on the shore called out to Peter and his friends in the fishing boat. Friends, haven't you any fish? No, they answered. He said, throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to haul the net in because of the large number of fish. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. After they had eaten, Jesus spoke with Peter and told him, Follow me. Follow. 